Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. You know, I've always wanted to see lava for myself, but I've kind of had this irrational fear of volcanoes from when I was a kid. But anyway, today we're going to be trying to make lava for ourselves by melting down some rocks. Then we're going to pour it in the pool, we're going to see what happens if you jump on lava, will you sink in or float back up to the top, and we're going to pour it on a couple other things. Let's get started. Yeah, I thought like a volcano could just happen anywhere, like just erupt in the middle of the street. Because I watched a movie and they were just appearing in the middle of the city. I thought it could happen! <laughs> anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing is melting down these red lava rocks. And these are actually like rocks from volcanic activity. I don't know if this can get hot enough to melt lava rocks, so we're going to try. I know it can melt copper and aluminum, but these melt a lot higher. They're like 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's really hot, that's almost melting steel. Well, let's get started. First, let's fill up this crucible with some lava rocks, put it right here in the forge. Now all we have to do is turn off the gas, fire it up, and then it's just a waiting game. And if you're wondering why the propane tank is taking a bath, it's because it'll get so cold because it's using so much gas, it'll start to ice over on the side. So we need to keep it in water, otherwise it'll lose pressure and it won't work anymore. Now let's get started. Uh -oh. This might be a big one. I think it's ready now. Let, let me stick my stick in here and see how molten it is. Oh, that's molten. You can see it jiggling. That's drippy. Oh no. Come over a little bit more. Ah, oh, wow. Whoa, that's molten. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's save some of that. All right, here we go. You ready? Oh, it's coming out. Oh, it's so slow. Oh. Whoa. Oh, it's bubbling. It's like floating. Whoa. Did you see it like bubbling and expanding? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Water? All right, go get it. That was our first try and it didn't work out so good because this furnace didn't get hot enough and that's because the, the burner I was using just wasn't hot enough and it was kind of a gas hog. So I made a new burner and let's compare it to the old one. Oh goodness. You can tell by the lighter color blue of this flame that it's burning a lot hotter and more efficient than that flame which is burning kind of rich. And in addition to making a hotter burner, I also made this one. Now we have two burners and that should definitely get the foundry hot enough to melt some lava. We've got our two burners installed. Let's try melting some lava for real this time. Ready for the wolf? While we're waiting for the rocks to melt over there, I'd like to take a moment and thank Wix for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Wix before, it's a service that lets you build and host websites at no cost. Basically, it allows you to build highly customizable and professional websites using simple tools, just like a drag and drop feature to drag whatever you want right onto the page and put it right where you want it. Basically, the possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Anybody can use Wix, you don't need any experience, and I'm sure even the pros will appreciate the tools that Wix can offer them. You can either start from scratch or choose from one of hundreds of beautifully designed templates. So Wix can be used by anybody, and it can also be used to make almost any website. You can use it for a business, a blog, a shop, or a place to host your dog and cat videos, because apparently posting them all over your YouTube channel is off-brand. Now I can include more information about myself and my videos. I can put information about how to license a clip for one of my videos if you want to use it in another YouTube video. I can put links to my shop, and I can cram as many dog photos onto my website as Wix servers can handle. So if you need a website for any purpose, go to wix.com backyard, the link's down below in the description, click on that link and get started building your website today. Oh, well according to the thermometer over here, the rocks are all melted, so let's go check them out. Wow, this is super nice. What's that like hair stuff? That is, that looks like molten refractor cement. Oh, great. I just can't believe how hot it is. Alright. Oh gosh. Go 
That was awesome. Look at the pool. The pool guy is going to kill me. I kn I was hoping that we'd get like a piece of art out of it. But it's more like s just turn straight to sand. Ooh, there's a chunk. Oh gosh. Just your local pool guy. Oh my gosh, it's Is it coming apart? Yeah. It's coming apart. Kind of cool. It almost looks like wood. Can you see it? I can't really tell. Yeah. But it's so fragile, watch it, I, I can just... Oh. Well, I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll uh, do Cause... some more stuff with the lava. Ooh. Yeah. All right, for the next experiment, we're gonna see what happens if you were to jump or fall into a volcano or something like that. Some people think if you fall in, you'll sink right to the bottom or maybe you'll hit it and just go splat right on top of the lava. So we're gonna be testing it out with this piece of chicken here. I'm gonna take it out and throw it in there and see what happens. Come, come look at this and see how hot it is. I'm sweating. Oh my god, I don't... Is the camera gonna melt? Can you see it? Yeah. That's what the sun looks like. Ew. Watch out. I have a prediction that this is gonna smell really bad. Oh, or it, oh my gosh. It's heavy. It's... That's probably one of the brightest things I've ever seen. Put the lid it back. looks like cheese. Let me stir it up a little bit. Oh my oh gosh. Now let's try for the chicken. Let's see what happens to it. Is it gonna sink or is it gonna float? It's gonna cook. We should have seasoned it. Whoa! What is that? Oh that thing's cool. I think nope. the chicken's ready to flip. Whoa, you know what? This actually cooks it pretty good because it forms like a hard shell on top. Oh, it's stuck in there, isn't it? Oh. Wow, it's hot. It's so hot, it's like burning my leg. Let's put in the hot stuff. It's just fire. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. It's like, it looks it's, like molten cheese. It's so hot, I can't even get close to it. It feels good. Yep, so that's what would happen if you fell into a pit of death, or a pit of lava, same thing. You know, you wouldn't go straight through and sink to the bottom, you'd probably just sit on top and end up looking like this piece of chicken. You wouldn't sink like in the movies. You wouldn't sink. Ugh. All right, let's put this back in and try one more thing. I feel like I'm getting a sunburn. I wonder how hot something has to be to start giving off UV rays. Because I know hot stuff probably gives off UV, but... Ugh. How much? If you know the answer to that, leave it below in the comments because I'd like to know and I'm sure somebody knows that right off the top of their head. Now we're gonna try pouring the lava on glass and aluminum to see what happens. And we have a little cowboy versus Indian setup right here too. I'm thinking that it's so hot, these guys will begin to smoke and catch on fire before the lava even touches them. Anyway, so we'll see if it can melt through the glass and melt through the aluminum, or both. I'll probably pour it on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Disorganized chaos. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna call this art piece when I'm done. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, that's pretty molten. You're glowing red. Yeah, it came out a lot easier than it went in. Oh god. Oh, well, we'll edit that bit out. I just. All right, go on. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, lava. Wow. Oh, that's, oh, 
That's so cool. It's beautiful. Oh, let me get some on the aluminum too. Wow, the glass is cool. The glass is holding up. Oh, look at it twisting like that. <gasps> wow! <gasps> that just exploded. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, let me get some on the aluminum too. Oh, look at it twisting like that. Wow! That s legitimately scared me. Though I kind of expected that to happen. Is the horse okay? The horse is okay. That's all I care about. What about the stagecoach? Yeah. Lava flows were a big part of daily life for the settlers. They always had to watch out for random volcanoes. <laughs> According to your childhood theories. <laughs> <laughs> look, volcanoes can happen anywhere. Just like sinkholes, it's just a matter of time. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, go ahead and consider pressing that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, click the notification item to ring that bell. Primrose, ring the bell. Good girl, that's how you do it. Oh.